Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharp. I'm feeling relatively sharp with my new haircut. Uh, popped into the barbers the other day. But as you can see, I've put on mm, two, three days of beard, especially for you to uh, test out another razor. So what have we got today? Beautiful day here in the UK, 28 degrees. Today we are testing the Gillette Skin Guard for sensitive skin. Um, yeah, Desperate Dan, big shout out to you. Thank you for suggesting this. Uh, I think you told me like two or three months to give it a go. You said it was pretty good. And I imagine you with a big Desperate Dan chin covered in strong beard. So yeah, thank you for the recommendation. I also just want to big up uh, lots of new people that have uh, subscribed recently. Really cool, like people US, Argentina, uh, Brazil, France, like guy from Ukraine. So welcome all the new people. And look, I'm really keen to interact with you. So post your comments, tell me what you think I should try next. Uh, someone suggested the Henson. I do want to try that out. I'd love to try that out. I think uh, it's a bit expensive for me to order one at the moment, but let's see. So anyway, today, the, uh, the skin guard. So let me talk you through it. I've been uh, using it for the last two weeks. I use everything for a couple of weeks. Um, I'll put a new blade in so that you can look at that because this is a bit of a manky one. Pop it out, nice and easy. Uh, comes with a spare blade that pops in. I think these are uh, like compatible with some of the other Gillette's, but so what's different about this one? Right, well Gillette says that this is for uh, people with sensitive skin, which I'm not sure I've got. I think my skin is probably like a bit of an old uh, lump of bottom of a leather shoe sometimes. Um, it's got two blades, I hope you can see that. So two blades and in between those blades, oh it's not really focusing too well is it, are, um, are things that are designed to like uh, stretch the skin out and lift the hairs so that you don't have as much um, irritation on your skin and so that you don't get razor bumps and razor bumps are really when you uh, when you cut too close your hair is cut too close and then it's particularly if you've got like a curly beard it grows back in and gives you a little bump so that's what this is for lots of people say it's fantastic if they've got sensitive skin let me tell you what I think. I'll just get warmed up. Hold on. Big basin full of hot water there. I feel like someone from the in-betweeners. Hot, might be too hot. Um, this is my Geo Trumpers, good old faithful, that I use for every test, just to be fair. But, um, during the last two weeks, I have used uh, Gillette Labs. Um, I have actually been shaving with no shaving cream with this uh, at all or anything with this blade because you don't really need it. It's one of those ones that's um, got lube strips either side. So anyway, let me tell you how this thing goes from my perspective. Um, so we've got, yeah, you, Two and a half, three days growth. Gave it a bit of a bit of a grow. What I'm experiencing is the same that I've. In fact, I'm just going to get rid of this shaving cream on this side of my face. You just don't need it. It just slows things down. Okay, it's much better without any shaving cream whatsoever. It's, so, uh, this razor blade is designed, I believe, from what I understand of it, to cut the beard not as close to the skin as some of the others. So the two blades, I was like really like, okay, this could be a winner, it's just a two blader. But in between them, there are these blue things that mean that the blades can't really get that close to the skin. Um, so, especially if you're shaving every day, which I normally do. So if you're using this as a daily shave, what I would find is that by the end of the day, my stubble, even though it felt not a bad shave, felt quite close, but by the end of the day, my stubble felt a little bit longer 
Uh, and without doubt, I just couldn't get quite as close. Uh, and this is a this is a decent shape. This is quite close. So if you leave it, say you leave it for two or three days, which this is, um, you push hard because you really don't need to worry about cutting yourself. I mean, it's just literally go as hard as you like with no cream even. Um, look, I, I only ever do one pass on these because that's, oh, this has got a little reverse trimmer as well. I mean, most people only do one pass, I think, in reality in the morning with a cartridge blade. I mean, you might want to be doing two passes, one against the grain and all that stuff if you've got time. Uh, and if you're going somewhere special, but for a day to day, I think. So uh, it's not it's not as close as some of the others. It's not as close as the Bold King. It's not as close as the um, the exfoliating Gillette. You can still feel a tiny little bit. And I think, to be fair to this razor, that is what it's designed for. So I mean, if if you if you've got um, spots or if your skin gets irritated or anything like that then I think this is probably a fantastic bit of kit what it does is those blue little things in the middle there they just mean that the blades are kept at the right level from your skin for it to not take it down too close it still feels a smooth shave like you get away with it but it's not as close as some of the others so that's what I think of the Gillette sensitive skin guard I think it's actually a well-designed um, bit of kit. I think it's a good razor. I think if I were to be using this as my daily shave, I wouldn't feel that I was as close as maybe I'd like to be. If I had sensitive skin, or um, or yeah, was you know getting like very curly beard and was getting any ingrowings or razor bumps or whatever, then I think it would probably be great as well. So if you've got any of those things, um, you know, and each to their own, we've all got our own stuff then I'd recommend it to you. Otherwise I'd say it's a good it's a good shave for you know every every two to three days. Um, that's it, that's all I've got for you really on the skin guard. Thank you again. Please, please, if you haven't, um, subscribe and like and all that stuff because uh, yeah it helps me out. And let me know what you want me to do next. So I've got um, I'm thinking of doing the uh, a, a double edged safe, safety razor, just the classic uh, King C Gillette. This is pretty standard out of the box, not too expensive. So I might be doing that for the next couple of weeks, unless anybody of you else has got a better idea. So thanks as always. Stay sharp. Talk to you all soon. Cheers. Bye bye.